hello hello guys today i'm in my garage and as you can see we have a Gilera runner 50 it's from a customer and it came for tuning but see it has 46k almost and of course it, it was never serviced properly so it has a lot of problems so it's not possible to tune it it must be fixed first uh, what I want to say first, first, I mean, look at this power plug, uh, this stupid thing, right, it's pretty common in my country because they don't know basics of two-stroke, so they just put any spark they have, it's, it's, yeah, this, this, this just tells you everything about the mechanics in my country and it's always the same. Here for this 50cc on the Piaggio you need BR9S. They just put random trash, bro. I mean, this is like seven or six hit range, which is crazy that this bike does not uh, seize. It's, so this is not the only problem. The, the other important problem, as you can see, wait, I cannot kind of see, but the intake manifold it's trashed. Also, look the oiling hose it's totally broken so it never got oil i don't know how this is driving still but it sure has some damage in the cylinder i'm pretty sure without oil also one other important thing on all piaggios the uh, oil seals they always go bad uh, especially when when they are not installed properly also here they have been grinding the crankshaft i don't know what the fuck they are doing uh, on the other side the oil pump starts leaking a bit so it's just better to change it and not just not any don't take any chance this oil seal was also leaking quite a lot also trash the carburetor probably never cleaned i don't know man here maybe i can show you how much how bad is the intake manifold it has so many cracks by the way i'm recording on my phone to see i think the quality will be better and maybe the audio too because my gopro is kind of shit uh in the cvt uh it needs new clutch which will be replacing with a polini 2g i have one second hand that i will sell wait actually i forgot it's here also this is a sr 70 I'm fixing it as well so wait oh fuck I forgot uh, I need to put this uh, to the new parts one second I will show that later so basically here we have some uh, I don't know what is this they were trying to do something it has yes we are but like so here's the CVT everything is nice mm, I mean not too damaged we also change this always like i would advise every 2000 kilometers change the belt for the water pump and oil uh i inspected everything basically the ventilar pulley or the cooling pulley how you wanna call it i know it's okay the variator is stock here the ramps are okay they're not damaged but the face has damage i have checked it with the ruler also here the old uh, oil seals they are Chinese and look look how trash they are it's crazy man they, they were not installed correctly as well but these are Chinese cheap so they are, they are trash I would never recommend to save money on oil seals always buy the most expensive ones or even if you can get even like for high pressure those, those are the best I use on my bikes here we have they did put some 4.3 which is so funny but this is the basic setup in my country just put some rollers that you don't even know what the fuck they're doing then you put some springs on the clutch and uh, uh, central spring and yeah your bike will be fast but it, I mean everyone knows this shit is so funny when you understand but yeah this, this is pretty much summed up my country like you see bad service uh, zero tuning no clue what the fuck you're doing you just buy parts what everyone says and you think your bike is fine until you come to me and yeah there is no way in this 
like with the oil still leaking and let's say the carburetor i can clean it right but okay this yeah you change the hose but then oil pump then we have manifolds probably uh, leaking false air as well there is no way you are gonna tune a bike also we don't know if the cylinder is damaged that's that's another thing that's gonna be checked in the end so yeah the belt is okay it, it is kind of new it's not driven a lot so here will i will show you what i'm gonna be replacing so the owner does not have big budget but we can work for now uh, we need uh, we need to make the bike run okay and drive okay so and some upgrades of course here i i got uh, original corteco oil seals i also designed and printed uh, how, how should i some tools so i can install the oil seals perfectly i will try it i will test it i did measure and it should fit them like in zero they should be perfectly fitted uh, also new spark plug the right uh, one the right heat range for this cylinder also multivar 2000 Polini 2G clutch, as I said before, uh, original manifold, OM manifold, OM belt, uh, OM oil pump. I just have to need to check if this uh, hose is gonna be enough. So basically, uh, I don't have a cameraman, so I don't know how I'm gonna record this. But I'll clean everything up, uh, pull out the carburetor for cleaning, uh, take out the intake and put the new seals yeah let's get started so as you can see my tool worked pretty good should i need some lighting to show you let's see i will try you see it's kind of you can kind of see yeah it's literally perfect so what i do i use this ballisto to grease up the lit a little bit so it goes very easy the seal and it's it's perfect you just hammer it easy I will do now the other side and I will pull out the intake okay so I installed the variator side it gave me a little trouble but I forgot it's winter it's cold so I heat it up a little bit and it it is got in perfect with the two I also pulled out the intake the carburetor and it has the stock gasket that's so funny man yeah now i'm gonna clean that stuff and then change the oil pump and yeah so here's the carburetor i i can show you in the light how this has never been cleaned i'm pretty sure look how dirty look at the inside holy shit also uh, the fuel that came out it's white bro it's like water and here's the manifold look look at this holy shit man the red valve is okay i will just clean it and reinstall it everything sealed properly here's the whole carburetor disassembled i cleaned all the, these parts but i had to put it in a fuel like I will let it sit for a day because it's very dirty also in the meantime I unboxed the variator pretty standard some rollers a white contrast ring I also did clean as much as I could because I mean this doesn't matter much uh, the pulley it was it had zero grease so I did grease it up and cleaned everything got the clutch ready i will install that also i will show you so these rollers that come with the variator they are 7.2 but i always measure whenever i buy rollers i always measure them see okay they are 723 26 that's that's kind of okay sometimes they are like 0.2 heavier or lighter it messes up your tuning and these are 6.5 uh, these were in the seat from the owner so basically for a starting point i will put these ones it, it's not gonna be perfect but it, it will be better in from my experience so the owner can actually write 
and have some decent performance maybe I don't know the carburetor is not jetted or anything it, I don't know it's not gonna work optimally so if he doesn't want to get a tune it will be just you know basic scooter pretty much doesn't matter if you, have, if you have a good exhaust but if your CVT and carburetor is not tuned you will not have any performance gain so here I am I'm draining the old oil I did clean the old gasket and everything and I assembled the new manifold uh, but I ran into one issue so here's the new oil pump it's for a new model runner and the hose is shorter than this one so today is Sunday I cannot buy a hose so I will have to wait till Monday I buy a whole new hose I will install the new pump uh, new belt here uh, the whole CVT and yeah that will be in the next part so I also record like this because I don't have um, chest mount for my GoPro I should I will buy that soon so you can actually watch me how I work and not like I just cut to the video yeah basically that's gonna be it for this one uh, as you can see this scooter was not really serviced but it still ran which is which is crazy to think these two stroke engines can actually take some beating that I mean without oil the cylinder probably has some marks but we will see how it will run when we service everything and put back together without any tuning so yeah i will see you in the next one guys stay blessed stay beautiful bye bye